All right, hi. Um, this is the third tape of uh, diesel engine. This is GEJ three eight four seven diesel engine mechanical service manual diesel electric locomotive transportation system division General Electric A R P A um, sixteen fifty one. I couldn't find a date on this, but we'll go on page fifty something. Air systems. Okay. Description, equipment, air systems, um, section 7, description, equipment, air system, see figure 7, 3, air into the front end of the locomotive through the screen and left the income of the air pass with the first through the equipment, the blower, then down to the platform part of the air, move to the front of the locomotive, passing through the air cleaner, the bleed air is discharged out of the bottom of the locomotive, the cleaned air is supplied with the control compartment with the cab heater, front traction motor, the air moves the platform toward the rear of the locomotive, clean the uh, another air cleaner with the clean air ventilator, the back traction motor, the extended range of the dynamic braking compartment, if you have the platform directly below the generator, another air cleaner system, clean the air of the generator, the auxiliary generator, excited for the engine carab. From the pressurization equipment, the air cleaner is made up of the 14 panels shown in figure 7 1, each panel having 54 individual tubes. Each tube that is X is a miniature cyclone, cyclonic dirt separator. Incoming air, uh, air is entered for the veins of the tube, then cause the air to swirl. Dirt particles begin to heavily go outside, but they eventually leave the far end of the outer tube. Clean the air swirling in the center of the portion, discharge out of the cleaner, then bleed air. Air car, 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 carries the dirt out of the cleaner. Small opening at the bottom of the each of the pen permit the separated dirt for the bleeder to escape. See figure 7 1 continues to discharge from the locomotive through outlets beneath the under frame. The test results show the all the dirt particles, each 8 microns, um, are large removed by the dirt. The micron is one in a millionth of a meter, approximately one twenty-five thousandth of an inch. One uh, micro, uh, clean air pass for the cylinder into the main inductor of the locomotive, which has been formed by enclosing the spaces between the center cell and top of the bottom when metal wall, wall plates were well the airtight. Our figure 7-1 shows the cleaning tubes, 54 cleaning tubes in the dirt discharger. 7-2 shows the equipment and air engine air cleaner tube. The discharge cleaned air, dirty air, A, incoming air, uh, maintenance present. President experienced anything that appeared out of cleaning with the air cleaner does not need the normally secure with the dusting with the rain snow with the provide with the cleaning necessary. If the tube with the extremely unusual operating condition is felt with the cleaning with the desirable, move the cleaning with the cleaning with the use of the dying cause static cleaner. We recommend for the aluminum C data portion for the instruction to prove with the cleaner, follow with the use of the cleaner with the light spray with the clear water to access the holes provided for the underneath locomotive platform through the cleaners made, remove the main air duct inspected to cover on the least access hole should be the tip type with the prevent leakage of the ventilating, ventilating air. Felt seals, flexible ducts, uh, as points where air flows. The main duct with the um, goes various points and pieces of the equipment should be kept out with the remainder for the sale of the ducts. Will result with the dirt moisture gaining entry with the various devices. Result either in enough air leakage to cause the overheating. And then we're going to back out of this one. This is 7 3. It shows the locomotive of the air system starting from the top left corner. You have the two the operator's cab, to the front of the traction motor, to the auxiliary gener generator, incoming air, to armature main generator, to coupling main generator, gas aspirator, damper air engine, plenium, supplemental bleed air platform, incoming air, to the rear of the traction motor's oil ba bath filter, and then through the two diesel engine main air duct, air cleaner tube, air cleaner, equipment blower, and the control equipment. All right, engine air system, C figure 7-3, with the air into the rear part of the locomotive through the screen inlet with the most of the air is due to the cool of the radiator with the part of the air goes to the air in air cleaning system of the air, enter, air engine air cleaning, cleaner consists of the six air cleaners assembly mounted with the engine air plenium. Each of those assembly consists of the air cleaner fast from the oil bath heater with the C figure 7-4 with the air cleaner bleed with the accomplished for the exhaust gas aspirator. Supplemental bleed air is obtained with the platform air duct the bleed air to pan for shown figure 7-3 with the provide to prevent the reverse bleed with the air flowing the reverse operation conditions. When the diesel engine is running at a low speed, all the air entering in the oil bath filters some of the deflective downward through the oil. The due to the high velocity of the air passes across the surface of the oil pool. Droplets of oil picked up and carried upward to the wet screen of the filter panel. This and this, if this is oh, if it is the oil the draining back out into the uh, reserve at the bottom that carries away the dirt particles trapped in the filter screen. The quantity of this dirt comparatively small due to the cleaning action of the air cleaner. The engine, the engine speed increased with the spring load of the baffle in front of the oil bath filter shown in Figure Seven Five will deflect the air pressure. Of the air system stream permit most of the air to go directly from into, into, into the filter. However, the portion of the air is deflected downward and across the oil pool, maintaining the self-cleaning action of the filter. 
Maintenance. The entire air duct between the air cleaner and the turbocharger entrance must be kept airtight. The inspect of the cracks and leaks of each of the maintenance periods of each luggage in this duct will admit dust, moisture, and engine room vapors. Figure 7 4 shows the oil bath insulation caution. Rubber seal with immediately behind the oil bath filter assembly must be kept in good condition. Failure to do though will result by in bypassing the filter and permitting unclean enter to the engine um, directly with the result in the high pressure rate, rate, um, rate where of this engine renewing the rubber seals is necessary. Engine cleaning, clear and cleaner assembly. Engine air cleaner assembly. The oil level in the oil bath filter so should be clear. Uh, check periodically the list for the lubrication service to schedule to check with the oil filter level after the engine has been shut down for the 10 minutes or longer. The oil level is satisfactory for it's above the add oil the mark does not add oil the oil level is below the add oil mark. Inspect the engine air system to find out while, why the oil is low, low and corrected. Inspect the cleaning and refill the oil bath filter air filters per, um, per maintenance instructions. See figure 75. Okay, over long period of time, oil level may increase due to the accumulation dirt bottom of the filter. The for the necessary to remove the developers, clean them per maintenance instruction. To remove the disassembly of the engine air cleaner, we use the following procedure. Remove the two clips, pull the assembly forward, and slide it out with the locomotive. Detach the air cleaner from the oil bath covered with removing the four Z bars. Um, detach the oil bath cover with loosening the rotating two bolt clips and turning the two screen clips. Inspect the engine for the air plenty with the air leaks from the cracks, etc. Repair for the necessary. Inspect the engine air plenty and lead air ga duct gaskets and replace the necessary. Inspect the air cleaner for the dirt clean as necessary. Use a non cosmetic cleaner. Um, recommended for the aluminum seed data section for these instructions for the approved cleaners. Follow the issue for the cleaners as light spray with clear water. Figure 7 shows the cross-sectional view of the air bath filter. Note that do not let the dirt accumulate above this line. The um, baffle opens if the air, air volume and increase the, the leak, leak, um, leak um, creepage and the velocity of the air across the good um, pool are relatively constant. All right, add oil through the inlet grill. See note B for air primary air cleaner um, filtered into the engine. See note A for the half inch, 1 and 2 and 3. All right. Inspect the cover in the cleaner. Use only with a hot running water to clean the clean the cover with a desired blow with the compressed air with a wipe with the clean back. Simply allow the water to drain after the cleaning has been completed. The baffle complete. It should be inspected for the proper operation. Inspect for the gasket replace if necessary. Inspect for the old bath with the filter sump with the aid of the uh, even the strong light with the media should be cleaned with the dirt with the free over the entire all time it should be well with the well wetted with the oil with the important with the filter media with the clean with the because the applicable dirt accumulates on this media with the airflow restricted even the high velocity through the remaining open media. Under the condition of the ability to immediately separate the oil from the immediate air, but the may, may be penalized, the oil may be carried into the engine. Inspect the bleeding air duct with the aspirator. If the bleeding air duct with the aspirator is inactive the, and the media shows sign of the plug in the dirt clump that exceeds one half inch, time between the maintenance and cleaning should be reduced accordingly. Do not use, caution. Do not use strong cosmetic cleaners. Such cleaners have the deterioration effect of the filter media of the plastic site gauges and aluminum air cleaner. Scrap hard part and pack dirt or cake with the sump of the scraper. The first pouring with the oil for the of, of the oil cleaning of the sump thoroughly recommended to clean the entire panel of the pump. And uh, in sump the assembly should be flushed very vigorously and vesseling uh, contained clean with the dipping of the drain. So it's alternately flushing out and out any of the dirt which may be embedded in the filter media. A filter will be drained holding on to the panel with a strong light with a 200 watt light bulb to check for the impeded dirt with a very very important. The light should be very dimly visible with the entire face of the media. Any dark areas. Which the light does not penetrate, they indicate the embedded dirt, which must be removed with additional flushing before the re filter replay reapply with the, the locomotive. Normally, the action of the oil of the panel will keep the media free with the obstruct accumulation. The bill on the fill the sump to the full mark with the oil with the oil. Resemble the cover of the air cleaner with the oil bath filter within stuff the assembly of the locomotive as follows. Push the air filter assembly with the six inches of the normal position shown in figure seven four list the six inches movement that should be made within the filter of the slight angle the weird angle the quick the hard hard quick push on the air filter assembly should engage the Spring properly applied the two clips, tighten them snug fit, and then after the assembly, inspect the air cleaner of the engine, all in air, plenty and seal. Air cleaner to the bleed duct seal. During the winter operation, the air when they with the air temperature below 730 degrees Fahrenheit, thoroughly saturate with the filter media with the recommended oil before filling the sump with oil. Damp the bleeder am, am, the bleed air damper the figure shown in seven three with the provide with the prevent um, reverse air cleaner bleed for air flow.
The damper should be inspected for the freedom of the movement, binding with intact of the opening and closed stop. The weather, wh where, whenever the aspirator, turbocharger, or remove, to, or, or, to aspirator, or turbo are removed from the maintenance. Supplemental bleed. The supplemental bleed pipe that's shown in figure 73 is pipe in connection, but it must be intact. The aspirator and flexible type piping. The aspirator and flexible piping should be inspected with the cracks or leak failure for these parts will result in the premature dirty loading in the oil bath air filters. Air pipe bell elbows. Connecting the elbows between the turbocharger for the inner leg, intercooler is contracted with the adjusting flange for the intercooler. The permit slightly variation of the lining meant between the flange connected to the sum of the elbows hex now for the sub of the intercooler should be loosened several in terms of the allow the adjustment, making sure that the ceiling O rings are place in are in place and solve the tightening cool cold of the flange neck now next to the nut on each side of the adjusting flange must be drawn evenly, taking care not to distort the flexible elbow and process the components of figure seven through seven six. All right, intercoolers, the engine is equipped with two intercoolers after each uh, effect of the temperature, air supply, but the cylinder, each of the intercoolers, steel fabricated case, including the tube of the thin type of the radiator cab core as well. The figure 7-6 showed the adjusting uh, adjusting an elbow. Um, the the welded to the tube show the wet head, well, wet, wet water headers at the top of the bottom. Remove the heat, air heated the, um, by compression. The discharge of the turbocharger passes horizontally through the core. The heat was removed and carried away with the engine cooling water to which was flow through the tube of the core with the three passes up and down again with an idle of the light load for the cold weather. Air may be warm for the heat the flow of the water. The radiator current core is permanently mounted with the intercooler with the, the top and the bottom headers may be removed the permanent cleaning with the repair of the tubes. No intercooler parts of the, such as the case of the core of the end of the heater is not inter Interchangeably, these parts are individually machined and fitted together. They should incorporate with intercore with the repair. Require extensive repairs should be returned with the factory for the recondition of the proper fitting of the new parts. Each intercooler should be inspected periodically. Dirt build up the air passage for the core through the proper air power filter maintenance of the dirt permanently. They accumulate with the intercoolers, restrict the airflow over the engine, resulting in high cylinder temperature, smoky uh, exhaust, and low, low loss of horsepower. Inspect the coolers, remove the elbows between the turbocharger intercoolers, and observe the condition of the core fins through the inlet opening with a tight uh, light. Coating of oil dust is normal. The preferred method of the cleaning is color with removing the head of the completely remersing the case of the core in an aggregated tank with containing an appropriate cleaning solution followed through the rinsing of the cleaning of the water. Seed data recommended cleaning compounds. No, the intercoolers are constructed with the core fins made up with aluminum, therefore, they do not subject to the cores of the cleaning of the discaling agents with the harmful aluminum. Before the top of the bottom headers are applied for the cooler, should be air tested. The leak of the tube of the construction and apply with the gasketed blanket pipe so over the air with the opening with that one plate with the adaptive of the air ho um, hose connection with the air cooler is completely immersed in it, and cleaning water applied with the regulated air pressure 3D PSI maximum into the tube and cooler. With the inspect of the case with the tube, the leak is indicated the air bubble for later remark repair remark of the location leak of the using a wax crayon. Le leak, leak is in the tubes may be eliminated by plugging both ends with the such of the tubes and solder plug may be. Phenomenal resin renew the intercooler between more than 10% of the tubes that are requiring blocking the such leakage to develop in the intercooler case may be required welding of the mild steel welding rod. Intake an air take manifold and bolts must be kept tight and avoid the air leaks from the feed sugar for seven seven the assembling section but the manifold after the cylinder change uh, care should be taken to the seal ring seeing o rings are played for the thread uh, that the bead for the intercock connecting tubes properly centered and as evidence the beads may be visible in each side of figure seven eight. Exhaust manifold insulation has complete package caution. The manifold must be installed so that when it is assembled the system was will be statically unloaded and properly assembly and statically loaded with the manifold can reduce surface life and in addition the bellows can easily be damaged if they are prior pried or clamp or if the clamping rings or other parts are dropped on them. Figure seven shows and shows the section of the airfold manifold charting at the bottom left corner of the camp can clamper ring ringlet bowl, the cast iron manifold section, pipe in the section bed between cylinders and the um Wire, m wire locks, um, bolt cylinder, flat washer gasket cylinder, air lit, o ring seal here, and water inlet pipe. On the figure 7 8, you see the cast iron intake manifold section tube, and then you use B to indicate the tube that is centered in assembly with the clamping ring and the wiring. Figure 7 9 shows the lifting arrangement. The shipping bar is attached to the outside of the, uh, of the elbows with the flanges of the dial to lubricate, lo locate the flange hole for the maintain with the correct space. And these bars should only be removed at the last possible moment of the, um, before insulation.
Raise the manifold mounting plate attachment strap at the 4x4 located with the top stern with the manifold plate for the engine V, but the manifold must be lifted carefully, carefully, care must be taken to the space of the sliding so that not, um, not, not left in the manifold select. See figure 7-9. Installing the tightening of the bolts for following sequence, align with the mounting of the plate with the install of the bolts, install the rear bolts for the ends of the closure plate, then install the for forward bolts using the heavy lock washer under the, all the bolts turning and torque the bolts and see the data section mount manifold turbocharger. See figure 7-10. Using the bolts on a high temperature thread compound, heavy lock washer torque bolts, see data section. Our right, figure 710 shows the exhaust manifold turbocharger mounting equipment. Number one is your turbocharger. Two is your turbocharger inlet casing. Three is the exhaust manifold turbo... Um, Ex your, your exhaust manifold turbo inlet. Section four is the cylinder um, uh, exhaust elbow clamping rings. And five would be your engine water discharge header. Caution, do not allow the elbow clamp ring or bolt to drop onto the bellows as this will dent the bellows. Align the manifold the elbow with the cylinder exhaust of the ports of the mount with the cylinder using gaskets, both with high temperature thread compound like washers, the torque of the top and bolts with the dad section. Do not use pry bars. On the bellows, do obtain alignment. The visually check alignment of the pipe section of the elbows. Alignment can be improved with the necessary to loosen the main pipe clamp rings with the slightly rotating main pipe of the section. The seal ring with the slightly shifted slightly to obtain the good alignment. Do not use the hammer to rotate the main pipe sections. Torque value, um, torque the main pipe clamping rings. The see the data section clamp ring ga gaps should be equal to the 1 16th of an inch to avoid bending of the bolts. Torquing the elbow clamp ring bolts the data section clamp ring bolts uh, gaps should be e equal to 1 16th of an inch to avoid bending of the bolts of the clamp ring with the closure of the new Reseal ring should be installed. Retorque all the clamp ring bolts after the load box test and after this first month of operation. Section replacement. A. To replace a manifold pipe main, a main pipe section, proceed as follows. Note any main pipe of the section may be replaced without moving the, removing the water header, header. Carefully clean the elbow joint part with inspect the nicks, which will not seal the um, seal seat the ring, seal, seal the rings as reusable. As reusable. Retorque all the clamping ring bolts in the one month after the section replacement. And one, unbolt the elbow clamp ring from the, on the elbows that have attached to the section to be removed on the left and right elbow to the head of the section. To remove the cylinder mounting bolts for the two elbows attached to the section, remove the, remove the elbow mounting bolts for the cylinder just ahead of the section to be removed. Remove these elbows. Three, remove the clamp ring for the bolt end of the section to be removed. Four, carefully lift out the section, rotating it clear of the water discharge header. Five, install the new section in reverse order, beginning, beginning being with a careful tool line in the section of the mounted elbows before the torquing the clamp rings. B to replace the manifold turbocharger inlet section with a turbo inlet case from the current short nose, uh, nose design and proceed as follows. The short nose design can be observed with removing the elbow of the cylinder one left the uh, cylinder one left and one right, looking at the manifold towards the turbocharger the shoot and the short nose of the inlet casing with the vertical vein. One remove the top six head um, socket head bolts for the holding the turbo inlet case from the turbo housing to permit the sliding with the transition section straight up. Unbolt the elbow clamp the ring for the elbow from the cylinder one left and one right. Cylinder remove the top of the removing the elbows. Remove the clamp ring with the forward end with the first main pipe section. Remove the bolts mounting with the manifold turbocharger inlet section to the turbocharger. Five, lift the section up and outward out of the left side of the engine. Six, reverse the procedure and install the new section. C to replace the manifold turbocharger inlet section with them in the turbo inlet casing with a year later long of the nose design followed the procedure then B except that as noted. I omit the item B1, remove the elbows and cylinder 2, L and 2R. Also, 3, remove the clamp ring of the rear of the first that main section. Also, lift out the first main section, same section B, same section B, same section B, section B 4, 5, and 6. Note, um, be careful to obtain the careful, um, correct alignment for the main pipe section installing the elbows rotating the main section. Are your data? Um, oil bath air, fil air filter cleaner compound, no caustic type. The recommendation will galvanize steel, plastic paint. Name of the manufacturer: Ocotite Product Incorporation. Pencil um, Ocotite Composition Number One Eleven. Pencil Light Chemical Cores. Pencil Light Delicum Sor um, Super CR or Pencil Cleaner Forty Four. Magnus Cleaner Compound. Magnosol. Tur uh, Torque Product. Turco Molluscrier. Mollus Molluscris. Air cleaner, cleaner compounds, not a cosmetic type recommendation for aluminum. Octite, um, octite composition number 111, pencite, chemical corp, the delcom, some, um, uh huh. Use above cleaners according to the directions that are supplied with the clean manufacturer. Cool and cleaners made of other ma manufacturers may be used. Section 8 Air systems and, um, Air system and intercooler cleaning compound non constitutional uh, um, almost on section eight. Cleaning compounds non constitutional type the recommendation aluminum galvanized steel pipe. Um, exhaust manifold high temperature thread compound surveyors incorporated three oh two south AL um Olden Avenue, Trenton, New York, F E L P R O C five compound, General Electric Company, Transportation System Division, Locomotive Parts Division, Repair Renewals Parts Section, Erie, Pennsylvania, never uh, and never sees N S one. 
No equivalent in compound made with the over the manufacturer may also be used with exhaust stand, stack, clamp, and bolt, 3 8 inch bolt, 8 10 to pound flame, 5 to 8 inch bolt, 15 to 8 pound foot pound, exhaust manifold mounting, 50 to 55 foot pounds, and main, main pipe of the clamping bolt, 70 to 75, elbow clamp bolt, 70 to 75, manifold elbow cylinder exhaust ports, 100 to 115 pounds of foot per torque, exhaust manifold to the turbo inlet clamp, 70 to 70 foot pounds of torque. All right, um, section A, overspeed system, description and operation. The function of the overspeed system is to protect the locomotive power plant with the preventing excess of the rotational speed. The overspeed system consists of the following principal components of the overspeed governor. Two overspeed shut down butterfly with, um, valves, each with a hydraulic actuator connected with the mechanical linkage diaphragm operated with the fuel cut off the engine actuating valve with the associated interlocking lines. Overspeed governor is located at the right side of the engine below the speed governor. The like of the speed control governor is given the, uh, driven, driven with the right bank of the camshaft. Give the driven, governor driven the C figure by 8 1. The um, during the normal operation, the overspeed governor delivered the engine lubrication and regulated the pressure of the 200 psi of the actuated two overspeed shutdown butterfly valve. The, the valves are mounted on each side, one on each side of the engine between the air outlets and intercooler of the first section of the intake manifold. Three figure eight two, one, two. The overspeed shutdown butterfly valves are cross section A three while opening with the permitted airflow for the intercoolers intake manifold of the closed air supply of the engine. Cut off the actuated butterfly valves are constructed with very much like an air brake cylinder oil under pressure. All right, figure one, eight, one shows one, the engine control linkage to the engine governor drive gear case three, the overspeed governor reset button four, tackle meter drive five, the uh, overspeed trip adjustment six, overspeed governor seven, uh, oil line butterfly valve, butterfly the actuators eight, overspeed governor oil supply line nine. Overspeed governor oil drain. All right, eight two butterfly valve with arrangement. Oil one out oil in the uh, line actuator. Oil line back two bill oil line battery uh, butterfly actuator left or left side left um left side three butterfly actuator cylinder four actuator drain valve actuator actuator drain line five the butterfly valve the housing six right bank intercooler. Figure 8-3, the overspeed shutdown butterfly valve actuator shown in enclosed. 1, the butterfly valve actuator. 2, piston washer. 3, oil drain connection. 4, o-ring. 1, 3, 8, vanish and travel. The leverage and linkage. 6, 7, lever to 8, roll and pins. 9, butterfly valve. 10, oil sump supply connection. 11, piston. 12, piston springs. 13, gasket. 14, oil seal. 15, shim. 16, bearing. 17, butterfly shaft. All right, from the overspeed governor, they call it the actuator piston with the van for the opening of the butterfly valve and the engine overspeed with the back to the overspeed governor. The governor quickly cut off the oil pressure for the butterfly valve. The actuator did not permit the line of the drain with the actuator spring with the return of the piston closing with the butterfly valve cutting off the air supply of the bolts of the cylinder. During the operation, the overspeed governor dropped the lubrication oil, which delivered the actuator from the small reserve inside of the governor's drive gear housing. When the engine is running, the oil is the reserve. Constantly replenished with the main loop oil, other the oil connection in the actuator body with the marker and the cath of the raised lad and letters in and out. The oil flows to the governor. Will overspeed without running through the pipe can amount with the bottom of the right side of the engine and the in connection for the right bank, bank actuator. See figure 8 1. When the oil pressure moved the oil, um, on the position of the right bank actuator, the fuel open, full open position, the oil flows from the out port through the crossover pipe to the inlet port with the left bank actuator. The left bank actuator piston fully open with the oil flow through the out port through the pipe with the bottom along the left side of the engine to the connector on the overspeed fuel shutoff valve on the main control governor. The pressure over the overspeed system applied with the fuel shutoff valve caused the bypass port with the governor. The speed shutting of the servo system with the Clothes that allowing the governor to function normally and supplying the fuel to the cylinder care should be you with the connection of oil lines actually to be sure. Those that are connected to the proper in and outlet port check the actuator. Points move it smoothly about opening with the cause uh, open position, the proper sequence of the engine is cranked to prevent the over over Heating of the oil being pumped through the butterfly actuator, the overspeed to go over the cool with the component for the overspeed system. The actuator but my boat will eventually leak the small amount of the oil circulates through the crankcase at the same time. As the feature also has some dump of the oil with the actuator to close the butterfly valve with the overspeed tech, um, the detection. The overspeed system, the fail safe for the operation of the broken oil line with the loss of the engine oil with the governor failure will stop the design. If the engine shut down, so curve the doing the engine uh, the at speed and uh, the ET speed with the investigate the uh, investigate the cause of the make of the necessary of the repairs before or attempting to engine the reset of the overspeed governor depressing the reset um, button. Or your overspeed governor description. The governor main body with the contain of the following component of the pilot valve plunger with the speed ring and the linkage to the pilot flyweights mounted with the end of the drive shaft with the power piston and the end of the which is mounted with the terminal level of the oil patch for pressure relief valve mounted on the side of the governor case. The base portion contains the positive displacement gear pump of the outer case of the portion contains the lockout and latching mechanism figure 8-4. 
All right, eight four show the overspeed governor with a cover removed. The one is your reset button. Two is the uh, returns reset spring. Three is the overspeed lockout rod. Four is the speed dropping adjustments at seventy is set at fifty percent. Five is terminal lever. The six is the uh, floating lever. Seven is the speed speeder spring. Eight is the speeding adjusting lever. Nine is the terminal lever stop screw. Overspeed, overspeed system, engine running at normal speed range with the speed figure 8.5 with the note on the engine. Overspeed, go with the mount with the drive shaft horizontal with the figure 8 and 5 with the 86 with the governor shown with the drive shaft vertically following the test referred with the governor is shown with the gears not, not as mounted on the engine. The reset spring with the, the overspeed lockout with the rod will position the terminal lever to hold the power piston down on its bore and lock out the latch re re release. Downward pressure with the speed, speeder spring is set with adjustment of the trip speed, speed, tripping speed setting screw to hold the flyweights in the, in, 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 uh, in the pl pl pilot plane you're down. Three, in the position of the bottom of the power piston with the connected drain engine, some perform the port to the pilot valve, pushing down, um, pushing, brushing to groove the pilot valve with the plunger through the starting hole drilled from the groove to the groove, groove the lower end of the pilot valve plunger. Four, oil pressure under 200 psi with the pump with delivery of the porting and pilot valve bushing around with the pilot valve plunger and out with the power piston with the power piston down. The oil can flow around the large lower groove and then out with the governor cave through the connection line with the butterfly valve actuators. Note the upper groove of the power piston will also contain the oil under pressure of the main for the drill holes connected to the lower groove that is slide with the pilot valve plunger. Below the board connection with the power piston connected with the pressurized owl with the pilot valve bushing through a second diagonally drilled hole. Alright, figure um, 8.5 shows the operating condition of the engine running. 1. Trip indicator. 2. Reset button. Two, 3. Trip setting screw. 4. Reset spring. Um, 5. Overspeed lock nut. 6. Uh, speed drop it. Bracket set 50% position. Um, for seven, fifty um, floating lever. Eight, the terminal lever. Nine, power down piston. Um, to the ten, gear ten. Gear pump. Eleven, rear relief valve. With the twelve, pilot valve plunger down. F Thirteen, flyweight ahead. Fourteen, flyweight. Fifteen, speed spring. Sixteen, speed adjusting lever. And seventeen, lockout latch released. All right. Um, figure eight six tripping condition resulting in from the engine speed. Trip indicator reset button. Press reset. Trip setting screw. Reset spring. Over speed lockout rod. And, um, sp speed drop it. Bracket set at fifty percent position. Floating lot lever. Terminal lever. Power piston. Oil from the um, hydraulic fluid operator. The butterfly valve piston. The ribbon from the engine to the engine sump. The drain sump to the gear pump. The relief valve. The oil from the engine. The flyweight head. The pilot valve plunger up. And the flyweight speed spring. The speed adjusting lever. Lockout latch engaged. All right, section eight, overspeed, uh, overspeed systems. Engine overspeed tripping action piston type valve to figure eight. Six with the S engine and speed to increase the overspeed the speed. But the flyweights will move outward, rave the pilot valve plunger, bring the pressurized oil slide into the line with the port connected to the power piston. The two pressurized oil flowing from the under the power piston with the port for the piston up at the close of the show. Close off the supply pressure oil from the butter valve of the oil actuator. This will position the upper groove of the piston above the top of the power piston bore. Three, always oil the Oh, this all allows the oil for the butterfly valve of actuator to flow back through the holes, holes connecting the two groove of the power piston from the oh, oh, over the flying weight head cap of the governor cap cave and down through the drain hole to the engine sump. For this release, spring load butterfly valve piston butterfly valve closed, shutting off of the engine air supply of five upward movement of the power piston trip the position always ra rotates terminal lever and raises the end of the floating lever the speed drop the bracket pin with this reduces the pressure speed or speed or spring allows the flyways to move quickly in the rotation of the terminal of the lever that also pushes the overspeed lockout rod back until the la uh, latch engage raise it raise raise raises the reset button Four trip indicator reset. The individual indicator with the unit trip position provided with the red band below the re reset button. Um, visible button is up. The reset governor following the overspeed trip. The bushing down the reset button. Adjustments. Caution. Only qualified personnel should be permitted to make the adjustment with the overspeed governor. On the the governor has a two position adjustment. The speed drop um, drop it bracket located inside of the governor with the terminal level that must be in a middle set of mid position trap um, trap signal uh, speed setting screw with the governor cover that may be adjusted to provide act, trip the action specified the overspeed engine. Trip adjustment procedure. The director um, reading of the accurately calibrated tackle meter is necessary to read engine crankshaft speed with the adjusting trip speed with the tackle meter be applied with the tackle meter to drive the over opening of the load. Get in the governor drive the key casing should just be on the over overhead overspeed governor seat data for the proper governor and trip speed. 
Caution, no circumstance for the casual uh, allow the OBD diesel engine crankshaft speed to expi- uh, speed, uh, exceed the specified trim, trim trip RPM. The warning is not, spe- uh, um, is not headed. Extensive damage could be resolved. The only qualified personnel should be um, permitted to conduct the overspeed with the test, make necessary adjustment to the governor overspeed, governor mounted on diesel engine. Check the overspeed system from the proper operation. We're run- running the engines in at six, no load back out. Trip adjusting screw with the rotating number of the turns for the turns required to cause the engine shut down. The shut does not occur. The investigate occur or the cause before proceeding to return the um, return the trip adjusting screw to the original position three to return the throttle to the idle then reset the overspeed governor and start the engine four run the engine to notch a and no load and using prior on um, prior bar under the governor power for this and increase the engine speed to maximum 1100 rpm 1130 rpms um, note the speed of the overspeed governor trip action curve that never be allowed to exceed the 1130 rpms um, to, to the lower the speed with the back out of the trip adjusting of the screw the rate of the trip speed of the screw the trip adjusting screw when it has adjusting had been completed the governor is ready to service lock, lock the trip speed setting the screw using seal water to prevent the misadjustment of the tampering all right, data. The system hydraulic oil engine loop oil. The pressure during um, the pressure during the normal operation, 200 psi. Governor to the crankshaft speed ratio, 3.46 to 1. Pressure relief valve setting non adjustable, 200 psi. Governor trip speed in the crankshaft at 1130 rpms at 10. Um, tachometer drive rpms 1677 plus or minus 10. All right, your exploded view of the governor, the governor base of the pump gears, the slide screw of the base of the governor, cave of the terminal sleeve of the well, sp- plug five, the relief valve, A, the sleeve, the B, the spring, the C, the plunger, D, the push, ring, the E, the pin, seven, the spacer cap, the nine, the p- eight, the pin, the nine, the torque spring, the ten, the drive spring spring, bro- bro- ring, eleven, the drive shaft ball head, assembly, the twelve, the, b- the thrust bearing, lowering race, lower race, thirteen, the thrust bearing bell cage, fourteen, the thrust bearing upper race, the fifteen, the bilet valve with the speed ring and the speed ring and the floating lever assembly, sixteen, the coupler, Cotter pin, 17th terminal shaft, the 18th terminal lever, the 19th spring, the 20th the power piston, 21 the socket head, screw, outer case, 22 outer case, 23 stop screw, the 24 lockout rod, the 25 the resetter spring, and 26 the spring seat, seat spacer, the 27 the latch housing, 28 the springs, 29 the reset plunger, 30 the um, sp- um, socket head screw, latch head housing, 31 socket head screw cover, 32 governor cover, and 33 screw, um, screw tip, trip, um, trip speed adjusting. Section 9, engine control governor.